afternoon, everyone. I'm Atit Kothari. Uh, I was a producer and developer on this project. Hi, I'm Jay Cho. Uh, I was the director for this project. We'd like to thank Story Movement for giving us the opportunity to share our experience. About a year ago, we, uh, we, we decided to do an experiment with this uh, new generation of virtual reality everyone was talking about. Uh, we wanted to tell a story using this new medium. Our main goal. Can you hear me? Uh, uh, yeah, we can hear you. Okay, now? Yeah. All right. So uh, we wanted to tell a story using this new medium. Our main goal was to create uh, emotion of empathy uh, for a social issue. The issue we decided upon was uh, racially motivated police brutality. And the so uh, the, the issue we decided upon was uh, racially motivated police brutality in the United States. We created an interactive virtual reality experience called Injustice. In Injustice, the user is immersed in this virtual world where they can interact with the characters using their own voice and look at certain objects and change the story. The story moves forward according to the decisions taken by the user. We wanted the user to witness an act of racial discrimination happening in front of them and almost forcing them to take moral ethical decisions. Injustice was created by a team of six graduate students at Carnegie Mellon University as a part of their semester long project. It was recently showcased at Tribeca Film Festival, Games for Change and SIGGRAPH 2016. I'd now like to show you a short trailer of a film. to the gym. Guess you must be going someplace else. You don't look too gym ready. I don't work out much. Ah, uh, there's nothing in here. Most of the important stuff's at the gym. There's been an incident in the area, and I need to see your identification. I mean, you won't ask anybody else for that? Stay you still! Cannot... Stay still! Why, but why are you doing this? You cannot do this to me. What do they think they're doing? Stop! Get away! Are you with him? No. How do you know this guy? Is he with you? Yeah, he was just standing here. Hands up now. So I came to the U.S. two years ago to study game development. Since I started to live in the U.S., I started to learn and get information about social issues, such as gun violation, health insurance issues, and gay marriage. For me, it was interesting to see these issues because I grew up in Korea, and all these issues were new to me. Around that time, in 2014, the Ferguson incident happened in Michigan. Michael Brown, a young African-American guy, got fatally shot by a police officer. I was so shocked by this incident and started to research about racially motivated police brutality. I watched lots of viral videos and films such as Fruitvale stations. And every time I watched this video, I thought about what I would do if I'm in the same situation. 
Most people feel bad or sorry about the incident like the Ferguson, but they really don't know what is it like. So even though I cannot make people feel abused physically, I wanted people to witness in front of them at least. So I started to think about what would be the most effective way to do this. So I still remember when I first tried virtual reality technology. It was a totally different experience than other medium for storytelling. So the deal with virtual reality, I can put you on the scene in the middle of the story. And by putting on this goggle, it will track wherever you look and you get this whole body sensation and you feel like you're really there. So the, without hesitation, we chose to use virtual reality technology as our medium for storytelling and started working on the project. So there are many reasons why virtual reality can evoke empathy. And the three most important that we found were immersion, presence, and agency. Immersion is that perception that you, the participant, is physically there, sharing the space with the characters. As a virtual reality storyteller, my goal is to create a world which is high in degree of immersion. It allows the user to shift from being an observer to being more aware. It allows the user to shift from being an observer to uh, being more aware of their environment and the people in it. It helps build a relationship between the user and the characters. Edward Sechi, producer at Oculus Story Studio, describes presence as the mind, the body, and the spirit feeling someplace that it is not. It is that feeling of belonging to this virtual world. And it was very evident from the reactions we were getting. People would reach into their pockets for their ID. They would put, the, put their hands up in the air as if forgetting for a moment that they are witnessing a virtual world. I remember reading uh, R.L. Stein's book series, not so famous, uh, Give Yourself Goosebumps. This, uh, this special series allowed me, the reader, the power to progress the story. I could go down that uh, dark basement or the empty room upstairs. That is agency. It is the ability to do something in an experience, to interact or react rather than perceive. Injustice had two interactions, uh, voice and gaze. Because of the voice uh, recognition system, the user can react more freely, and the characters inside would understand what they spoke and would react accordingly. P different people would uh, talk in different tones. Some were assertive, some were passively reluctant. Few chose not to speak anything and not to intervene. Maybe that's how they would have reacted if they had seen this in their everyday life. We asked people what they felt after trying this immersive experience. I'd like to show you what reactions we got. Yeah, I think, I think there's a lesson in there. I think it's true to life. I think that um, it forces everyone to be empathetic that this technology is used for social justice, mm -hmm. not just for entertainment. Uh, I felt like really sad for that guy. You know, he didn't really do anything and he's just uh, getting uh, harassed by these cops who are just jerks. Uh, it's interesting to see, you know, the, the young woman came to hell, you have a conversation with someone and the next minute, mm -hmm. someone's life is on the line, mm -hmm. right? It happens every day. Especially, I'm from New York, so I see that a lot. And they do like the stop and frisk and everything, so it's, it's horrible. But, hey, welcome to America. <laughs> we found that interactive VR can be a very powerful tool to invoke empathy for a social cause. It has that emotional complexity of a movie and mechanical depth of a game. I'd like to end with a quote from Noni Della Pina. It's very difficult to understand until you've tried it. Thank you. <laughs>